This is the Business Today for February 9, 2016. I'm Marlon Madden. Barbados sets out on a drive to boost its exports to CARICOM by at least 10% this year. Officials just back from a five-day trade mission to St. Lucia, Grenada and Guyana are anxious to regain lost business from the regional market. According to Commerce Minister Donville Innes, Barbados only exported $259 million in goods up to the end of September last year, falling below the $284 million in 2014. We expect that on the current trajectory, we will certainly exceed that. Uh, in 2016, we're, we're estimating to get up to $285 million in exports um, to the Caribbean region, Caricom region, I should say, from, from Barbados. Uh, many Barbadians may certainly not appreciate the, the volume of goods that we, we export in the region. And why these figures may seem significant, we don't get there just by sitting here in Barbados and believing that others will buy what we produce. And that is why um, the, the board and management at the BIC took the decision that we really need to get up and go into the marketplace. If those companies and service providers that we know are export ready, and uh, to do so in a manner uh, that will build strong linkages and relations with our partners in the other islands. St. Lucia, Grenada, and Guyana were chosen certainly because of the volume of exports there going on now, as well as the established relations there. Meanwhile, local companies who were on the CARICOM trade mission are happy with the results. Addressing a media conference at the Barbados Investment and Development Corporation, BIDC, recently to give an update on the outcome of the mission, Local producers and service providers said they could not have experienced the benefits if they had gone on their own. General Manager of Meridian Caribbean Inc., Zayad Kazan, urged local producers to continue to develop their products and innovate to take advantage of the existing opportunities in the region. One of the very important points that struck me as a manufacturer is the level of the respect that people in the islands have not only for Barbados and our people, but only for our product as well. Anybody you speak to will tell you, yes, when we want an economical product, we go here and there and everywhere. When we want a premium product, we go to Barbados. And this we need to capitalize on. We need to understand and have faith in the product that we sell. If we don't believe in the product that we sell, nobody will buy it. If this product you yourself and your family is not going to use, install, eat, nobody else will. Managing Director of North Point Consulting Inc., Philip Lewis, says he believes Barbados is in a very good position to export some information communication technology services. We're ahead of the curve in terms of telecommunications infrastructure, <coughs> uh, our ability to implement networks. We're also the regional home for many of our large regional corporations uh, and therefore they have the skill sets in-house uh, to run their regional networks. We also benefit from having the University of the West Indies here with their computer science degrees. Likewise, the Barbados Community College, uh, the Polytechnic, they all run IT and ICT courses here. So the point being Barbados is in a very, very good position to export those ICT services. Whereas you will find that some of our Caribbean neighbors, uh, they're now uh, going through or going the path that Barbados has gone in terms of telecommunications infrastructure. So they will need our services. Meanwhile, the producers of the well-known Colatonic will soon be heading to Guyana to reintroduce the product there after 10 years. And the Armstrong of Armstrong Agencies Limited says the company already has some business in St. Lucia and Grenada. We've already seen increased business out of St. Lucia. We've got firm commitments from Grenada, so I'm going to see more there. And I have three companies I'm talking to in Guyana, and I'm very optimistic that at least one of those is going to come through and we'll be getting the Clayton's Cola Tonic back into Guyana. Because years ago, we used to do quite well with it there. Now for today's financial tip. Safeguard yourself against identity theft. Remember, identity thieves not only steal your cash, but as the name suggests, they can steal your identity and create fraudulent accounts in your name. The cost can add up to tens of thousands of dollars, as well as hours of your time, trying to correct the situation. That's been the business today. Join us again on Thursday.
Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Madden.